and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. Today we are going to do a little bit of a different get ready with me. I have been cleaning and trying to get organized and I realized I have so many samples. A ton. Like drawers full, boxes full of free samples that I get that I never use. So we are going to try and use some, a full, do a full face, just using sample products that I have received. Um, a few products I did not have samples for, so I tried to pull out products that I owned that I received as like a free gift. So I don't think anything that I'm using today I have paid for itself. I'm sure I paid for it in some way or the other because nothing is free. And that includes my skincare. So let's start with what I used before filming. I used the Sicily Gentle Makeup Remover for face and eyes to take off my eye makeup. Or, you know, what was left. I took it off last night, but what was left. So I used that. Um, you know what? I wash my face with my regular face wash. <laughs> um, when I was getting ready, I used the Sicily Floral Toner, which I really do like. And as I used the Sicilia Essential Skincare Lotion as my essence, I did not use a sample of a serum, although I realized, realized as I was cleaning, I should have, because I've got plenty. Uh, for my eye makeup, I mean my, for my eye cream, I used the Sicilia Eye and Lip Contour Cream. And for my moisturizer today, I used the Dr. Barbara Sturm. This is the Face Cream Rich. I've been using this actually a lot, and I really, really like it. So, all of that has already been used already on my face. We are going to start with primer. The primer sample that I have is a Clay de Peau Correcting Cream Veil. So we're going to open this and see what it looks like. All right, so it's, I was expecting clear. It has a color. It is kind of like a cream or a tan color. So we're just going to put this on. And I'm hoping that this, um, you can see my face. I've got a new chair in my, at my vanity now. And I realized it's higher than the chair I used to have. All right, so I'm just rubbing this all over the face. Um, yeah, there's only going to be enough for a single use, so that's good. It smells good. There's a fragrance. Um, I've never, I've never used this product before. I've never, um, like I said, I'm just starting to get into some of the Clay de Peau stuff. So I'm assuming this came with that. Although I could have chosen it as a free gift from Nordstrom or Saks. Um, but it does look like it has, it just says apply prior to foundation. So I do think it gave my skin a little bit of color. Like it, it kind of like made it lighter. So, all right. Well, we'll give that a try. Um, for foundation, I'm going to use a sample of the La Mer um, Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation. So I actually do have this foundation in full size and I do really like it. However, this is a different color and it might very well be too light for me. It is natural 12 and I'm definitely in a darker shade, but we're gonna see if I can make it work. I'm just going to squeeze some out onto my hand. Actually, you know what? That color might be perfect. Maybe I discovered a new shade. I'm going to apply it with my Marc Jacobs Face 2 brush. Okay. 
Now I'm curious what shade I have, because this is a really pretty shade. I think this shade is like a perfect match. So I'm in 220 neutral and this is natural. All right, there's a little bit left in here. I'm gonna add just a little bit more to give me just a little bit extra coverage. Yeah, I think this is a really, especially for winter, a really nice shape. Because I am going to add bronzer and blush and everything else. So I'm going to blend that in on my finger or my hand. And then I'm going to pump what I have next to it to kind of see the difference. The one I have I know is going to be a lot darker. Yeah. So this side, this side is the shade that I just used, this natural color. And then this is the shade that I have the bottle in, neutral. So, so I have a sample of the Touche, the YSL Touche Eclat High Cover. And I get four different colors to choose from. Applicator, brush, and then you have four shades. So there's 0.75 sugar, two ivory, 2.5 peach, and five honey. All in all, there are 16 shades and they kind of give you the range down here. I am gonna look at sugar and ivory. These are the two, the two lighter shades. I think the peach and the honey will be too dark. So I will just pop those off. I think number two is probably going to be the best, and it's this shade right here. It's ivory. This was a concealer that I was very interested in because I really like the YSL primer. It's like really one of my favorites. So this little applicator is little. It's so little, but I'm just going to apply it with that so I don't have to dip my finger into it. And then I'm going to buff it out with a my regular brush that I use. And they give you, I mean, this is a fairly good amount of product to try. So I will definitely get more than today's use out of it. So I'm going to take my Tom Ford foundation brush and just kind of blend that in but I think that's a nice color for me. This is a product that I would definitely purchase a full size of. I just wanted to try it first. And so now we're doing that. All right, I blended in nice. I'm gonna add just a little bit more and I'm going to put a little bit on my finger or my hand, the back of my hand, so that I can see the consistency. It's hard to feel what the consistency is when you're putting it on your face when you already have a full face of makeup on. But I'm just trying to see if I can cover up my under eyes just a little bit more. But I liked the consistency. It was very thin, but uh, blendable. We'll see how it builds up. All right, so I just checked in the mirror and I like it. It's not, my face doesn't appear drying at all. Like the concealer sometimes can dry out your under eyes and that doesn't appear to be an issue. Now it could also be the primer. I really, you know, the primer was nice. So, all right, now we'll move on to powder. For powder, I have a Clinique. Um, Powder, and this is old. I don't even know if it's still good. It's un, it's still sealed. I have I've never opened it. It is in, called Invisible Blend. It's a uh, blended face powder, uh, shade 20 
Invisible Blend. So we're going to give it a try. Like I said, it is still still sealed. So I'm going to pull off the plastic. A little bit came up. Feels soft. I'm just going to shake it and get some here in the lid. I'm going to take my Chikohoto powder brush. And just kind of put that in. Got a little bit of powder on. And I found with this foundation, I actually do need powder. Um, if I don't use powder, it's not the best on my oily cheeks. So, and that is how we're looking so far. Next up, I do have a sample of a bronzer. I was really surprised. I had forgotten that I had this. So I've got a... A uh, sample of the NARS Bronzing Powder. Original gold metal bronzer warms and sculpts on contact, blending effortlessly, bronzing endlessly. Touch and glow. And so it says Laguna. All right, so I'm going to take the plastic off. And to apply it, I'm going to use my Tom Ford bronzer brush. I like it. I think it's a nice color for me. Let's see if I can swatch it. So there it is swatched. Just kind of very subtle bronze. All right, now I'm gonna go with some highlighter. And this is another product that is really old. I don't know how good it still is. It'll work for today's purposes though. And that is a Laura Mercier. It just says highlight one, matte radiance baked powder highlight. So there it is. And to apply it, I'm going to use a Sonia G, what is this, Designer Pro. Like I said, I have no idea if this is still good. It's a powder product, so I don't really know how bad it could get. But it definitely has a highlight effect. I can immediately see the glow on my cheeks. I think it's pretty. And I'm just kind of bringing it down to where I would normally put blush. I don't know. It's not bad. I definitely see the highlight. For blush, um, it's not a sample. I am using the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek shade. Hello Talk, and this was a free gift. So I'm gonna take my Chanel blush brush, swirl it around. I probably, that's probably what I could have just used for bronzer and highlight are, um, I have a bunch of these Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasms that were all free gifts that I, I've never bought one of these. They were just free. So I could have used one of those. I totally forgot. But I do really like this blush. It's very, very pretty. Now we're going to do eyes. For eyes, I also did not have any samples. But I just recently got a free gift. And this is the Sicily um, Fito Four Ombres. This is an eyeshadow quartet. 
and it's in shade two mystery. So here's the box. I've not even opened it or swatched it or done anything. So here is the packaging. I'm going to take the applicator out and here are the shades. So they're not shades I would typically wear. Especially that blue. That blue is a little bit different. But we're going to try it today. And it does come with um, directions on how, like their ideas of how you could use it. So I think I will follow their direction. And it says to apply the light shade on the entire eyelid. And that is that um, this gray shade. And blend upwards. And then it says to apply the dark shade along the lash line. So this would be your eyeliner. Apply the medium shade to the eyelid up to the crease. So the blue shade kind of out in the corner. And then this shade as your highlight. So we are going to do that today. I'm going to take a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow brush to apply this kind of like blue gray color. So I'm going to move in a little bit closer so that I can see the mirror. I may be cutting half my head off. <laughs> Sorry. I apologize, but I need to be able to get closer so that I can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, this is, this is dark. I mean, that's the right shade it told me to use, but that is dark. And it's really pigmented. This is definitely not a quad I would purchase myself. And it's not something that I see like in the stores. So I don't even know if these are still, maybe that's why I got it as a free gift because it's like old. I don't know. It's not really blending very well. I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to go in with the Chanel eyeshadow brush. These, um, these bristles are a little bit softer. So I've taken it to the crease and I'm still just kind of buffing it or blending it upwards to kind of spread out that color. Yeah, this is kind of different. All right, well, we're just having fun. We're just playing. We're just, we're just playing. It's makeup. And if I don't like it, I can wash it off. I am going to take a Sony G mini booster and I'm going to go in to this dark blue shade. So I was expecting it to be more of like an electric bright blue and it's not. So I would actually wear, let me swatch it. So I was really expecting it to be something different. And this would be a shade that I would wear 
as a smoke color with other palettes. And of course, that was the shade that I was, at first glance, like, oh, hell no. But, just goes to show that you have to be willing to try new things. I'm going to take a clean brush. This is the Sonia G Blender Pro. And I'm going to blend out that and kind of buff it in. All right, this is different. This is definitely not a look that I'm used to, but that's what this is all about. So I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is the rougher number three, and I'm going to go into that. It's almost like a really, really dark gray. I'm taking it underneath my lash line. I'm going to spray the brush and get it wet. And then see what happens if I can get this to just be a little bit darker. All right, well, it doesn't look too bad. It's a little different, a little different. I'm going to take a Marc Jacobs, the crease brush, and go in with that highlight shade. I want something a little bit fluffier because this is such a dark look, and I'm, I don't normally wear such a dark look. I wanted to see if I could kind of tone it down a little. I will swatch all of these shades for you when I'm done. This is the BK Beauty 207. And I'm just going to swirl it around in that highlight color and go pop it there in the middle. And I think I'm even gonna just take it right there to add just a little highlight. It's not terrible. I know I was a little scared. It is definitely darker than I would typically wear. But I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. I was really, really hesitant after I started going in with this gray blue shade because it was a little scary. Well, let's swatch all of these and kind of see I probably should have swatched them before I put them in my eye, but all right, we're going to start with the highlight right down there. It's like a gray and then 
the black. And then this is what they considered, what did they call this one? They call this light and it's right there. And then there's that dark blue. So those are the four shades. It's different. It's really, really different and it's not something that I normally wear. So I'm liking it. I like it. All right, for mascara, I have a little sample of Chanel. This is the Le Volume Revolution de Chanel. I've never tried this. So I've tried the Le Volume a lot. I bought it a lot. But this is the new one, Le Volume Revolution, and I've never tried it. So the brush is a little bit different. So we're going to try it. I have so many um, Chanel mascara samples, like a ton. All right, I don't know if I really like this mascara. All right, so mascara is on. My face products are on. Now we have to do lips. I don't have a lip um, liner. I do have lipstick though. You know what? I forgot I had gotten out a sample of an eyeliner <laughs> that we didn't use because there was already eyeliner in there. But I do have the Marc Jacobs Highliner. This is a gel eye cream. And I've used a sample of this before and I really, really like it. So I will keep that and use it later. So for lips, I have a sample from Giorgio Armani of the Lip Mastro. It's an intense velvet color. And I got three shades, 202, 400, and 501. And it comes with a little applicator brush. The shade right here, 202. I might be a little bit too nude. So I'm gonna go in with this berry shade, number 501 now. All right, well, that's it. That is our completed look for the day. And I think we did a pretty good job. We got a full face of pretty much all samples or, you know, gift with purchases. So I like it. I need to start using a lot more of, my, of that stuff um, and going outside my comfort zone, like with this eyeshadow. I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. So I am very happy. I've got a ton of samples for skincare and that's like, and that's just hard because you need to use skincare for a little bit longer than just like a single use. So I think that's why I just have so many is because I don't know, I just never use them. But um, I enjoy samples of skincare for vacations or if you're, you know, going away, even not like a vacation, but just overnight somewhere. I enjoy like that way you don't have to pack all your stuff and you can just use it and throw it away. So I do that sometimes too. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. It's something a little different, not something that I normally do. Um, but I wanted to play with some of my samples and play with new makeup and see if there's anything that I have discovered that I really like. Um, I do know that I'm very interested in this concealer, the YSL. Um, I really like that. In this um, primer, I liked the primer. I already know I love the foundation. 
<laughs> so that's kind of cheating, maybe? I don't know. Um, but I did, I like the shade. I think that it's a really, really good shade. And now I'm wondering, do I need more La Mer? I guess you can never have too much. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I hope everyone has a beautiful Sunday. Today is Super Bowl Sunday, and my hometown team is in the Super Bowl. So go Chiefs. I'm super excited. I hope everyone has a great day. I will see you guys in my next video.